I'm so excited that I'm getting to share some of these pictures with you finally. This is something that I wanted to do for a long, long time. And of course, all of our memories are in our pictures. And I do want to share a lot about the family. And I thought it would be very appropriate to start talking first about mom and dad, because of course that's where it all started. This is a picture, and I think she looks so much like I did when she's a little girl, but this is my mama as a little girl with her mama, my grandmother. And that was the only grandparent that I knew that, she, you know, we go visit with her because uh, my mama was a baby of her family, I was a baby of mine, so by the time I was born, Grandma McGill was the only grandparent left. And then this is mama, she got a little bit older, she was a blonde. That's where we got it. <laughs> and then later became a brunette like Louise. Isn't that beautiful? This is when my daddy fell in love with her. And then my dad, boy, when they, when they first met, he was a very handsome man. And then there's some pictures before that, you know, where he was in World War II, and I will find some of those and put them on the website with you. And uh, then later, after they got married, this was like a year. Barbara was born a year before that. It was my daddy and Barbara. And then I'm not there. You know, Christina gets left out a lot of pictures. Well, I do too. Because when you're the baby, sometimes you're just not born yet. But mom and dad with Louise and Barbara when they were little. I just think it's so cool. And then uh, later years, my daddy became a policeman. And then um, later, after that, when we moved to California, and I want to find, he started a band, and Louise and I, once again, were too young to be in that band, called the Mandrell Family Band. And then uh, they ended up going overseas. And there's some pictures of that, but look at this, when they were in Vietnam, not the first year, but the second year, Mom became a blonde again, she said. Too many people were speaking foreign languages to her because she was little and she had dark hair, so. That's her and Barbara in Vietnam when they were playing. And uh, then there's pictures later years whenever, um, there's pictures whenever Daddy started having uh, grandkids. And grand, this was Matt when he was little with Daddy. They were on the bus together. And um, there were some here that I wanted to share that had, um, had the little red dress. Vanessa. Now, she usually smiles. She's just kind of thinking. You always hear about us telling at Christmas time the uh, story about we always had to have a little red dress because at Christmas, Louise and I wanted a little red velvet dress. We found it. They'd already bought us um, toys, I think, and after the fact, we're like, we love these dresses. So Daddy went out and took an extra job. <laughs> Sorry. It's emotional, that story to me. He took an extra job so he could come back and buy Louise and I those little velvet red dresses. So our kids at Christmas at some point in their life have to have one of these dresses on. But there's just so many things and, and, uh, that I'm going to share with you. And I'm just getting started, but I'll just share one real quick that has Louise and Barbara and I with Mom and Dad. And that was their little dog, Bonita and Dinky. So, we're going to put a lot of these pictures on the uh, website, and I'm going to keep coming back and telling you about what some of them mean to me, too. Thank you for being with us and being part of our family.